this bottle until it get hot. What is up everybody? Rez back here again and today we're gonna be doing a video kind of different than some of my other videos, but it's gonna be the reasons why I sold my M3 and I got an Evo. My third Evo, if you don't know. But we're gonna be doing that today. It's gonna be different than my normal videos because we're actually gonna be doing, uh, I'm gonna set the GoPro up on the little suction cup thing on the sunroof. We're gonna go for a quick drive uh, through the city and I'm gonna be talking about those reasons uh, in the car. But first off, let's do a quick cold start for the boys. Here we go. Set you guys up right here. up the GoPro and then we'll go from there all right here we go what is up guys I hope you like the setup here that we're gonna go with um, might change it in the future who knows but I think I like this one because you can kind of see the road a little bit and then you can kind of see me kind of talking with you guys uh, but the first reason why I actually bought another Evo after selling the M3 is gonna have to be this right here I'll sh demonstrate it for you guys Right there. <laughs> it's the first car that I experienced boosting. Uh, my first car was a uh, 350Z and um, one of my buddies actually had an Evo at the time. I didn't even know what it was. Well, I did know what it was, but I didn't really realize it, if, to be honest. I wasn't really into the cars that much. Uh, but my favorite movie was Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, which, crazy enough, there's an Evo in there the whole time, so it kind of resonated with me. But my buddy owned an Evo, and he actually uh, gave me a, like, a, a ride along in it. Um, and it was just crazy feeling his Evo, feeling a turbo, really hearing the turbo. Um, that's one of my the main reasons why I actually really uh, like the Evo and the platform that, that it is on. It's just because it's the first car that I experienced it. Uh, turbo with or boost in general so that's reason number one why I why I went back to get an Evo reason number two why, why I actually got uh, an Evo again after selling the M3 is um, honestly it's uh, to me it's it's an investment uh, Evos are actually right going up in price and I believe that uh, they're actually gonna be considered some of those uh, JDM Legends cars kind of like the R32 uh, GTR, R34, all that. Like this is to me. This I feel like this is gonna be one of those cars that is very sought after in the future. They're already going up in price. Um, you can tell by the just the example. Like I got this one very clean, but it did have higher mileage, and I still paid like 17, 18 grand for it. So uh, it's just an investment. It's a good investment for me. Uh, I love the car. I get to enjoy it. Hopefully, if if uh, I'm financially where I want to be in a few years, I could just keep it. But if not, you guys all know, or based off my video that I made, M3 versus GTR, that I would actually love to own a GTR one day. And I, uh, I was originally gonna get one instead of this, but I went with this as kind of like that car that I that I really love, that I can work on, and that isn't gonna break the bank, and that I can enjoy. I put a, I put about like 5,000 miles already on the Evo. And I'm pretty sure I could sell it for the same price that I got it for. Um, it's just a great overall car. And I believe that to me it's going to be like an investment as well. As also, not only is it an investment, but it's also kind of like it's it's going up in value. This is overall pretty much what I'm trying to say. Is that it's just it's a good investment for me. Uh, and, and that's why I went with it. I can enjoy it. I'm not going to lose any money. If I need to sell it, then I'll be exactly where I kind of left off. Uh, so that's actually my reason number two why I got another Evo. Like I said, I don't want to keep the camera angle in the same position the whole time. I kind of want to test it out, see how you guys like it in the different views or whatever. Just let me know down below, please. Uh, but um, again, this is number three, reason number three why I got an Evo. And 
that's going to be just, they're easy to work on um, compared to something like the M3. The Evo is so easy to work on. Like you've seen, if you've seen my video where I changed the coil packs, it's right there. Uh, everything is easily accessible. There's plenty of room in the engine bay. And I feel confident that I can do almost anything on this car by myself uh, with a little help from Dr. Google or any of my friends that actually have Evos. And um, I had, like I said, I had another Evo before, which I'll get into in a little bit after this, but I did a lot of stuff to that car. I did the cams with help from my friend, Cam Springs Retainers, uh, all with the help of a few friends. i never done it before, and I just feel like the Evo is such an easy car for me. I'm very comfortable working on it. So easy to work on compared to something like the, the F80 that I was scared to do even the spark plugs on. Honestly, I didn't want to mess anything up, being that it was so expensive of a car and that uh, it was so, like, the tech was so, it had such good tech. Oh my God, I wish you guys could see how bad the drivers are here. Like, literally pulling out in the middle of a, of a lane. But anyways, yeah, it's just easy, easy car to work on. Let's go oh, 5 0 uh, let's see. Let's still do a quick pull. Woo. But yeah, just easy car to work on. That's reason number three why uh, why I went with that. All right, so let's go into one of my last reasons I think it is, but here we go. One of the other reasons that I got an Evo was that, uh, let me just get in front of this is uh, just that, um, uh, like I said, I had an Evo 8 before and I had an Evo 10 before the M3, but I don't feel like I got to enjoy my Evo 8 uh, as much as I wanted to. Um, I did not sell that car. Um, I actually got into an accident and it was totaled. If I can get any of the pictures from that, I'm gonna actually put them up here somewhere in the video or either in the beginning or the end. Probably I'll put it in like right after this clip. Uh, but yeah, I didn't get to fully enjoy the Evo 8 uh, as much as I wanted to. I had a lot of stuff that I was doing to it and a lot of plans that I had uh, coming for it. But it was all kind of like cut short uh, just because of um, the accident that I had, unfortunately. So that is one of the reasons. I don't feel like I got to enjoy my Evo 8 as much as I wanted to. Uh, maybe uh, with this Evo, I'll get to do everything I want to do with it and hopefully I could just keep it or if I if I want to I can get rid of it uh, later down the road but I didn't get to fully enjoy it so I want to this is the first car that I the Evo 8 was the first platform that I really found that passion that I really got my hands dirty with like the my 350z before uh, I had put coilovers on it and wheels and the front lift and that was it and then uh, I fell boost and I actually sold it but yeah, the Evo 8 is, I never got to fully experience it, so it's it ha holds like a, a, a close spot like in my heart, near and dear to me, uh, just being able to, to own an Evo and this time get to do everything that I wanted to do to it. We're actually gonna do like a super illegal U-turn since it takes more. You don't know, the Evos have like the worst turning radius of all cars. Oh my God, I can't believe I was able to do that U-turn. But yeah, so. Uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons there that I never got to fully enjoy my Evo 8. So, moving on to the last reason why I got an Evo, and that is uh, because this was kind of like a Dream Spec Evo um, to me. Red, my favorite color, or Rally Red or Phoenix Red, I don't even know the exact paint code right now, but um, red. It had a sunroof. I've always wanted a car with a sunroof, and crazy enough, I've never had one. I had a daily, my Honda Civic, clapped out 2000 Honda Civic. Uh, I called it the trap car. It had a sunroof, but at what cost was the that sunroof? It was like a shitty little daily, daily so I did enjoy that, but uh, it's the only car that I've had with a sunroof. Uh, my Evo 8, the first one, no sunroof. No, Evo 10, no sunroof. The M3, carbon fiber sunroof gotta go with the carbon fiber outweighs it 10 times out of 10 i'm gonna choose that uh so sunroofed red color and the last thing is that this evo had everything that i would want to do in an evo it already had it done um it has the cams the injectors the fuel pump the exhaust system and the big ticket item for me was actually the um, the turbo
turbo. I was gonna do the, the FP Red Turbo on my first Evo 8, and unfortunately I couldn't. So the fact that it had all those, thing, those things already done to it, big selling point for me, because I really wanted uh, to kind of keep going from where I left off. I, it's like when you play like an old video game or something, and, and you load up, and it's like, ah, oh, awesome, like I don't have to start all over. It's like I pretty much kept going from my checkpoint. Originally, I was actually looking at a GTR, to be honest. I really wanted a GTR, but I was also looking at Evos because never a bad time to pretty much look for Evos, in my opinion. So I found this one local, and just like I mentioned before, all the stuff lined up, and I pulled the trigger on it, and I'm pretty happy with that. So that was the last reason there as to why I got an Evo. And we'll do a quick pull right quick. What is up? We made it to the parking structure. We got the Evo. She's looking good. And uh, that's it. Those are the reasons why I bought an Evo. Actually, my third Evo, like I've been mentioning. Uh, and why I think anybody should want an Evo, honestly. Uh, just like I mentioned, the boost's friggin' awesome. Uh, can't go wrong with the 4G63 all wheel drive turbo. Uh, very awesome feeling. Um, good investment. They're going up in price. Uh, you can drive the shit out of them and you won't lose any money on your on your purchase we got they're easy to work on you can do anything yourself everything's easily accessible turbos right up front exhaust manifold everything's right there for you to do um, and like I said like these cars are this is like one of my dream cars honestly and uh, they're go they're gonna be JDM classics I already know it they already are uh, following that trend and I think they are so I think if you're in the market for an Evo or something like that, even if it's an Evo 10, Evo 8, Evo 9, like honestly, Evo 9, probably my favorite Evo of all time. Um, but those are crazy expensive since they only were produced for one year. Um, but other way, other, let's not get down that rabbit hole. here in Chicago but uh, yeah that's pretty much it you guys already know what to do uh, stay tuned we still got more stuff coming to the channel uh, and I'll see you guys next week take it easy always remember to comment like and subscribe Rez out Until it get hollow Shit, I might sip out this bottle Just drown in my sorrows Drown in my sorrows